hi beautiful people and welcome back once again to Dacty for you's channel i hope you are all doing great today i'm going to share with you how i make my delicious turkey light soup so guys here i have turkey and then i just added in some fish that dry fish and salted fish to it guys everything that i'm using in this recipe is dry there is like nothing with blood in they are all smoke and dry so it's so healthy so i just added in some chopped onions garlic and ginger to it i'm going to go ahead and then add in a little bit of salt guys remember that the uh, salted tilapia the dry tilapia have salt so you have to be mindful the amount of salt that you use in this recipe so i just added in a little bit of salt and then i'm going to add in a little bit of maggi stock cube you can add any season of your choice or you can skip it so i'm just using about half of the maggi stock cube not too much guys that is what i'm doing right now so here i added in a little bit of water just a little bit and then i'm going to cover this and let it be on fire for about eight minutes i'm just going to steam it for about eight minutes then here i'm giving it a stir so guys this is it after eight minutes then i gave it a stir this is how it's looking at this time and guys this soup was so yummy and it's also delicious and then it's nutritious and it's healthy because everything in there is dried we've dried it and taken some of the fat away so i just added in my tomato paste that is about two tablespoons of tomato paste that i added water to it to mix it so here i added in my fresh tomatoes and my onions i have i used about two and a half fresh tomatoes and then one onion and here i'm adding in my um, yellow squash guys if you haven't tried using yellow squash for your soups before oh my god you are messing out it's so yummy so give it a try it comes out so good it's like you are using uh, garden eggs back home this is healthy guys so i just added in one habanero pepper you can add more the more spice <laughs> the more spicy it is the more delicious it becomes but if you know me i don't like it to be so spicy but when my mom makes this kind of soup she adds a lot of uh, pepper to wet and makes it spicy so what i just added in here is my idan fruit guys idan fruit is medicinal and at this time in our lives we want to eat healthy so and i love idan fruit too so what i did to the idan fruit was that i just uh roasted it a little bit on the uh, the stove top and then i washed it and i added it back home we will use it like on the fire we will just roast it a little bit on the fire i want that i wanted that flavor i wanted that aroma to come out of my soup when you do it that way guys the aroma it has some smoky aroma in it and then it's it's so nice it's a nice feeling so i wanted that aroma in my soup so here i covered it and after about 10 to 12 minutes this is how it's looking like my veggies are all cooked now and i'm going to take everything out for my soup at this time and then i will blend it and bring it back in so here that is what i'm doing guys look at it and I, i'm telling you the aroma alone <laughs> can kill this virus i'm telling you the aroma can kill the virus because it's it's everything it was so divine and the, uh, like the aroma from the iodine fruit was everything so here i just went in with my mushrooms so what i did to my mushroom because i did not add it from the start is that i cut and then i washed it and soaked it in salt water i wanted my mushroom to have its own taste so that is what i did i soaked it in salt water for about 20 minutes before i added it into my soup so here i just added in the blended mixture and then i'm adding water 
to my preference where I want my soup to be. So that is what I'm doing right now. And this time, guys, you have to taste for salt. I always taste for salt after I dilute my soup, after I add water to the soup. That is what I do to see if the seasoning is okay because I don't want to add water after the soup is ready. So here I just went in with some okra. So guys, that is what I'm doing. I'm tasting for salt. So if you if you don't have okra or you don't want okra, you can just skip it. Okra is just a preference. It's just a preference. So here my soup is on fire. It's almost getting ready. And guys, look at it. Just look at this soup. This soup is telling you I'm healthy. I'm healthy. Drink me. So guys, this is the soup. It was all looking so healthy, nutritious, and oh my god, the aroma was everything. So in this soup, guys, try it. You can try it with either, if you don't have the turkey, you can use any dried meat that you have available, chicken, goat. It must be dry. It must be dry if you want to achieve it, achieve like this soup. The, the, the meat everything have to be dry so here our soup is getting ready it's on its way to heaven you know this soup was on its way to heaven so guys just look at the soup it was all ready it's like it's getting ready now and it was looking so nice so at this time i just lowered my heat a little bit made it just i just wanted it to just cook slowly here is our soup it's all ready and guys, just look at this. Oh my God. The soup was so, so yummy. I'm going to have my with old, old, old fufu. Ghanaian fufu. Oh my God. You can have yours with eba. Any swallow of your choice. Rice. Drink it like that. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch me. And the love that you show me. Please stay out of trouble and stay safe. Please, please, let's stay safe and pray. This is no joke. It's real. And let's pray. God will just deliver us. God bless you and stay safe.